Hi everyone, welcome to another Simon Says Card Kit of the Month share. And today's kit was a little challenging, but I somehow came up with 11 cards. So I hope you guys enjoy and here we go. For the first card, I started by stamping the sunshine and the sun. And I'm using Mustard Seed Distress Ink. And then I'm going to stamp my sentiment right in the center, bold. It says, Sunnier days are coming. I want it to be very um, bold, like I said. So I've stamped it twice. And I'm just using the same ink, mustard seed, to distress the edges of my paper. I used that sunshine piece of paper from the kit. And then I framed my sunshine with some black cardstock. And I'm also going to add a sunshine sticker, half of a sunshine sticker, as you will see in the next, um, by the end of the card. And that was it for card number one. For card number two, I'm creating flowers using my sun stamp. Um, I thought they looked like flowers, so I just used three different colors of my Distress inks. I was going to do four, but um, I like to keep things in an odd number. So I did three and stamped the rays in the same color as the center. And then I used my Copic marker G07 to create stems for the flowers and the leaves. Then I use my Twisted Citron and Peel Paint Distress Inks to create um, the look of grass in the bottom. And then I used the new Speckled Egg Distress Ink to create my sky background. And then we'll put the card together. Then I framed my piece with this very bold colored stripes, I guess, <laughs> pattern paper. And um, they somehow match the colors I chose for my flowers. But I thought the flowers was a little boring, so I added a little smiley face that came in the stamp set. And we're going to add it to card base. And at the end, I actually decided to add a sun in the top of the card. And that's it for card number two. For card number three, we're going to set a table for our barbecue scene. And I punched some circles using one of my circle punches. And it depends on how large you want your plates to be. And I just used one of my markers, two of my <laughs> distress, <laughs> blah, 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 Copic markers, 
to create like a, a sink in our plates, I guess. <laughs> and then we're gonna set our table for our third card. The food for our table setting is come is gonna be all stickers from the stickers that came in the kit. For the food in the center of the of the table, I actually put some dimensional stickers in the back to pop it up a little, and then we're gonna put some food on our plates, put some drinks, and. Our card front will be done. So we added a sentiment that says it's a summertime cookout and add this to a black card base and that's it for card number three. For card number four we're creating a park barbecue scene or cookout scene and we're using speckled egg again to create our sky area and twisted citron for our grass area. Then we use this checkered white and red piece of paper to create like um, a spread on the ground to add our barbecue stuff. Um, we're actually having a picnic so we're on the ground, on the floor. <laughs> These clouds were actually created using the stamp from the stamp set, the clouds. I stamped it um, with some Versamark ink and actually used the puffy white embossing powder from Hero Arts to, to, um, to heat set on the clouds so they have a little dimension to them. So I just add the clouds and the part that I cut off I just added to the right to so create three clouds and then we create our, our picnic scene at the bottom and we're just going to finish up by adding some trees I added the sun and that would be pretty much it for card number 
four. For card number five, we started with this piece of pattern paper from the kit and I'm going to score it at a certain point where I want to fold the paper back so I could get that pattern that's on the back because the papers are double sided. So I just fold it and I'm going to add it to a piece of white card stock and then this one we're going to use just some stickers and I love that little red piece of pattern paper on the side of the stickers. So I actually use that to go around the corner, right at the side of the card. And then as you can see, I added some stickers, some barbecue stickers from the sticker sheet. And then that's pretty much it for this simple card number five. For card number six, I started by stamping the grill image from the stamp set all over this piece of cardstock and I'm putting it in all directions and then I'm going to color the image and finish the card. And sorry about the glare from my Misty. Um, I gotta find a better way to put my lighting because it's driving me crazy. So I don't apologize for that. After I stamped all the barbecues, I'm going to just color just the hot dogs on the fire. Such a hot dogs, sausages, whatever. And we used. One of the paper I cut out the BBQ from from it and add that barbecue sticker and add my sentiment to that same piece of red and white paper that I cut from the sticky sheet and the sentiment that says you're invited and I'm going to color it the same color as the sausages and then we're just gonna add this to a red card base and that would be it for card number six. For card number seven, I'm creating a scene with lots of food. Again, we're in the park, barbecuing, having a cookout, whatever. And there's other people, so we're gonna use stickers to create a scene way in the background and then stickers to create our scene in the front. We have some trees, sun, and for the sky and grass we use paper this time. Um, each of these paper came from the paper from the kit 
I just add some foam adhesive to the green area and once I add my trees I'm gonna cut off that little hanging part and use it as a tree that's not being seen all the way and as you can see I added that little table in the back to show that there's somebody else barbecuing in the park and I'm trying to figure out where my son is and here's what I'm talking about adding that little piece that we cut off so it looks like there's a tree hiding on the side somewhere and then we're using this red and white piece of paper to create our our little blanket on the ground or table or whatever and we're gonna add our food using just stickers So this is our scene as you can see we have lots of food and we're just going to add this to a card base and that's it for card number seven for card number eight we're creating a shaker a shaker card and our shaker card is full of ants hmm so i cut this piece of pattern paper and i'm adding some double-sided tape to it so I could add my acetate, clear acetate. Once I've added my acetate, we're gonna add some foam adhesive. I got this roll of foam adhesive from Amazon and I don't like it. It's very hard to tear and it's very hard to cut so I'm gonna have to find another, another roll, some other kind. As you can see, when you try to rip it, it stretches. And when you try to cut it, it stretches. So as I mentioned before, the shaker part of the card is going to be ants. And to start off, I'm sticking, using the stickers, the sticker sheet of ants that came in the kit. And I added some of the stickers directly to the, the paper that's going to be the back of the card. Then I'm going to use a bunch of the ants and I'm covering the back of them with our, what do you call this? The powder tool we're trying to get rid of the sticky part of the, the the sticky part of the sticker and so I'm just dipping them in the powder so they're able to shake around in the card I also put some powder on the paper itself so that they will move a little freely and then we're gonna add our acetate part with our foam tape over this I also added some of the stickers on the front of the card, just sticking them on the surface. I also added some stickers of burgers and food at the front corner. And then we're going to just add this to a black card base and that will be it for Card number eight. For card number nine, I started with that piece of sticker paper and I put doubled it up, put two lines of it. I love red and white together. Reminds me of candy cane and Christmas and happy so I put two pieces and I'm using some of the ice cream and cake stickers 
at the top of it. the sentiment thank you and I'm putting right in the center of both pieces of this sticker sheet and white card stock and this would be a thank you card for someone very sweet then I use this polka dot paper on the right side of my card base and then I'm adding foam adhesive the one that's hard to cut again <laughs> to the scene I created and then we're gonna just add it to our card and that would be it for card number nine For card number 10, we are creating our own grill surface and I use cardstock with some stitch circle dies. Then I use the T9 Copic marker and a ruler to create my grill marks on my grill surface. Now we added our goodies to our grill, some shish kebabs, a sausage and corn and they're all from the sticker sheet. On the right corner, I added the BBQ stamp in black ink and then actually stamped it again, colored it with some red copy markers and cut it out. Actually, first it cut it out and then added it onto the stamped area. On the left side, it needed a balance, so I added that red checker paper to, to have the illusion that there's a table next next close by and some condiments on there and that's it for card number 10 so for our bonus card i had all this bunch of stickers left over and i decided to just put all a bunch of them on a piece of white cardstock to create a card. So I'm just dropping food and fruits and 
desserts and jams and drinks and everything to create a background. And once I've gotten everything I need, I cut it down and add a sentiment that says, BBQ, barbecue, you're invited. And a piece of white card stock. And I add that apron to that piece of white card stock. And that's pretty much it for the bonus card. Uh, I felt like it needed to be popped a little. So I just added, took a gel pen and go around the um, white piece of card stock top and bottom. As you can see in the photo. And that will be it for this card kit for this month. And I want to thank you guys for watching. And this is just all that's left from the kit, which is all going in the trash. And like I said, thank you for watching, and I'll see you next time. Bye.